Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who do not know, my name is Ali. I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. Through this channel, I'll be providing some stock analysis and a quick update on the Million Dollar Challenge. So if anybody's not aware of this, this is a journey of investment of $1,000 to a return of $1 million over a period of three years using a strategy called Compound Return Investing. So the objective is try to get 201 trades, each with an average return of 3.5%. It's not 201 consecutive trades, we do take into account losses so for further details about how to join us for less than nine dollars a month information is available in the description below in today's video we're going to be looking at mmtlp and an important question on a 200 million pound e-trade order we're also going to be looking at an important message for mma team materials so stay tuned for that and also finishing off by having a look at six symbol cadl candel therapeutics this is a stock that has been featured previously on the channel so uh, before we get started let's have a look at what's happening in the market so first of all shout out to investing.com and we can see that the us uh, market ppi inflation is up 2.1 percent year on year compared to the estimated 2.2 percent and the previous 1.6 percent so it's the highest since september 2023 and if we move on to have a look at um uh, the jobless, jobless claims we can see us jobless claims are up 211,000 compared to the estimated 216,000 and the previous 222,000 so this certainly is much better news and uh, certainly positive for the markets as well and uh, in other news uh, shout out here to bbc news who posted about truon mai lan who is a billion uh, vietnamese billionaire she was sentenced to f death for a fraud of 44 billion dollars so uh, what i've posted is i think if that kind of deterrent exists in the financial markets i think that in, in itself would be alone uh, enough to clean things up uh, but obviously uh, i'm sure that's down to debate as well so uh, shout out now to uh, stock market news who've stated with regard to uh, ford and tesla ford what f-150 lighting gets special discount for tesla owners so uh, good news hopefully for both stocks and finally shout out to quiver quantitative who've uh, shared uh, an interesting purchase from uh, one of the congress members and uh, this is virginia fox she's bought into a small shipping company called ardmore shipping asc market cap is uh, quite small 672 million pound so we will be monitoring this uh, ticket asc and seeing how it goes so maybe virginia knows something I'd like to start by doing a follow on to yesterday's video where we looked to potential sell orders for MMTLP for $25,000 a share on the 8th of December 2022. So this was covered in the previous video as shared by Rare DD. So in terms of a follow up, uh, Rare DD has just posted and the question is why were these GTC orders for such high amounts? So they were certainly for high amounts, uh, $1,000, $5,000, $500, $150, etc. But the question is, it's irrelevant if the rules were being followed, they wouldn't have been an imbalance balance and if they they need to be a resort to force buy-ins uh, and liquidations in terms of what the broker should have done then obviously the rules of trading would have been followed so there should be no sympathy for investors that purchase mmtlp at 12 dollars and might have been spooked into selling or had a stop loss triggered due to continuous unchecking so the, i think the overall question or, or, or situation here is that retail investors take uh, a risk of it losing 100% of their investment. However, hedge funds and shorts who short a stock, uh, according to the rules of trading, should have a risk of infinite loss. Uh, and clearly, this was not followed. Uh, but uh, if we look at a follow on from Timeless Tim, what Timeless Tim has stated here uh, in his just post, he's talked about a, a, another link uh, to the Fidelity Fund Code. So, what he stated here, sharing an image from C Plant and one of his comments. So, let's start by having a look at the image. Uh, and what we can see in the left hand side, something is a, a foot with Fidelity and has never had this many platforms available on MMTLP. So, we can see all them platforms auto fdl miex tv05 so we, we, that, that that's an in, interesting question and what tim has stated is this may be the connection he sees on the e-trade account seven various low mid and high orders rejected on friday 10 30 a.m with a strange code and the code first of all too late to cancel had a meaning which is in process of um, execution so seven orders seven routes to split the sell uh, sell order costs 
So the question is, are they fishing for our sell orders? In other words, the hedge funds or maybe even the brokers. So looking at the post again, he stated here, you could not find the trade route codes like this, but saw a link to the quarterly order routing report that contains December 2022 routing. So he received the question. The question is, why would the 200 million pound uh, million dollar order be bought and not many other smaller orders like $1,500, $500? So uh, with regard to the question, it's about the codes and uh, there may be a link and Fidelity seems to have set for large orders than other codes. Not sure of the root codes E-Trade use and not an expert in routing codes. So if anybody can help out uh, who has some expertise in routing codes, certainly for Fidelity, certainly for E-Trade, uh, that hopefully may get us uh, closer to what we're looking for. And in the other image here that um, Tim has shared, he's provided some information here about fidelity order root codes so go ahead and check his post out uh, where we can see uh, these details shared but obviously there are unanswered questions what I'd now like to do is follow on with regards to the concerns raised about the Metamaterials board. Uh, obviously, we're talking about the reverse split uh, and obviously looking at potential dilution. So uh, let's follow on in terms of uh, some of the investor concerns. And what Wendell has posted here is it's become abundantly clear that the board of directors and corporate officers are not taking loyal and long term investors seriously. I do not have their best interests at heart. It's time to take a stand. Please share um, as far and wide as you can. So uh, with regard to the message, he stated here, please read the following email template. Uh, send it to the board. Do not let me get away with shoving through a vote on a non-routine matter with, uh, regard, without answering critical questions. So in one of my previous videos, I did highlight some important questions that I believe they should have shared. Uh, and unfortunately, they did not do that. Uh, so with, this is something that I think uh, if you are an investor in MMAT, go ahead and check the, uh, the Google link out. I finally like to finish off by having a look at tick symbol CADL, also known as Candel Therapeutics. So this is a stock which had some significant breaking news that was shared in the live Discord and also covered in one of the previous videos. Uh, so we have a quick reminder in terms of the key news for Candel Therapeutics. We can see headline here from Yahoo Finance. The company have announced positive interim data for randomized phase two clinical trials of CAN. 2409 in non metastatic pancreatic cancer. So, this is a uh, tremendous news, and I think the FDA was certainly seen positive about that and also suggesting that they can also have fast track for this. So, go ahead and check my uh, previous video where we looked at this. But, in terms of a reminder about the company, it's a, a clinical stage bio company fo focusing on uh, off the shelf multimodal biological immunotherapies. They're looking at fighting cancer, they're looking at two clinical. Uh, uh, stage um, background bi biological immunotherapy platforms in terms of the trials they have currently uh, ongoing clinical trials in not trials in non-small cell cancer uh, phase two and borderline res uh, res uh, resectable uh, phase two and localized non-metastatic prostate cancer phase two and phase three so certainly uh, encouraging there but let's now focus on from a trading point of view in terms of the chart we can see here uh, today at time of editing it's currently up in uh, in excess of 22 percent at six dollars and 23 uh, but if we have a look at the uh, one month chart we can see over the previous month it is up in excess of 271 percent and uh, we can see just prior to the 8th of uh, april um, 2024 we can see it did uh, shoot up in, to a price in excess of nine dollars so uh, right now since that day it has trended down i think it, it did come close to uh, the five dollar mark and we can see it certainly looks to be a little bit of a rebound and reverse momentum back up uh, so hopefully uh, tick symbol CADL always look to take profits, always look to protect your profits. Uh, but one that we are watching carefully, bio stocks are extremely volatile, but great news here for Candel Therapeutics. Finally, if you would like to get breaking news as well as copy of our weekly watch list and uh, daily stock alerts and also join us on the challenge. Details are in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned.